the debate is finally over, guys. Yeah, we got a tough crowd, and I guess you guys love it whenever we have a tough crowd, right? I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you. We also got a UFC card happening. Uh, Conor McGregor versus uh, Kamaru Usman. That's happening Bruh. as well. Who you with? Let me know in the comments, right? But I also want to show you guys a bunch of videos. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, exactly, man. Let me actually get right into the story here. Like the video if you're getting real comfortable with not buying Ubisoft games. Dislike the video if you actually to love Ubisoft games. All right, check this out. Roll it. Available November. Uh, what is this? Assassin's Creed. Uh -oh. They're doing it again. Who cares about the main character? The oh game's under thirty dollars. Everybody's mad about the character. Maybe this is their strategy. Add in a main character for a game. Yeah. Holy. Okay, I was not anticipating that many people being mad though. Yeah, you know, you know the craziest thing here is that Ubisoft was very, very brave today for letting the comment section be open. Yeah, that's really that, com that's the most heroic thing they ever they have ever done. And that way, it'll distract people from the fact that you're trying to get people to spend hundred and thirty dollars for the fucking game. Why do you have three day early access? A season? Wait, there's a season pass. What? Includes a bonus quest on day one with additional unlockable content <laughs> as well as two upcoming expansions. So let me get this straight. It's their way. You know what? They purposely do that. They This is like the official release date, right? But they would purposely add the fact that, yeah, you get the three days early access. Buy it for a hundred, not even a hundred dollars, hundred ten dollars. That's crazy. You know, we were talking about the fact that, hey, they're going to do this crap a lot more. They're just going to artificially push the release date forward uh, and backward for like the the peasant version yeah this is 70 dollars. that's like the peasant version right now hey you buy the game and you don't even get everything in the game it's day yeah. one dlc why do people buy this shit why are they charging 18 dollars a month as an Man. option it's priced this way and it's created this way in order to get you and funnel you over to this right here yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. it's got an yeah. outline around it it might as well have a neon sign pointing over to it okay <laughs> and i know this sounds crazy yeah. they don't want you to buy this so psychologically <laughs> you get them in with this price you this is a, this is for the peasant guys this is the peasant version that's that's apparently what they're doing right now gaming ga yeah gaming that that's gaming that's gaming you upsell them to this price you discount it down to this price mm. and then you get them thinking they're getting a good deal on this price whenever whenever they came to the store they were only looking for this price this yep. is i think a lot worse like i don't really care if they want to butcher japanese history i, I this is not my problem <laughs> right but this is a problem yeah i i need the japanese homies on this situation immediately but uh-oh, what just happened today? Roll this. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. And today we're talking about Xbox versus PlayStation. But because a new leak has just come out that at this point, Microsoft is entirely giving up on exclusives. Now, if you love Xbox because of Game Pass, it's like a cheap way to play stuff, you know, you're probably fine. But at this point, if you own an Xbox console specifically because you want cool games that nobody else has access to, well, you're probably not going to enjoy this video. So let's break down which games are being ported <laughs> and why it is that suddenly we're watching xbox just completely collapse so suddenly are yeah. you ready here we go now uh -oh, first and foremost uh -oh. i do want to address a comment that i've seen popping up quite a bit this last week has been insane i've been putting out multiple videos a day crazy watch time insane views lots of new subscribers but something i've seen a common yeah christmas came early and like a week ago it was his birthday as well happy or happy birthday like the video guys like the video man like the video subscribe if you're brand new the home it, it was the homie's birthday and he went just crazy he put his foot on the pedal accelerated the crap out of this one no breaks all gas no breaks bro sentiment in the comment section is people saying why is he so interested in the collapse of xbox and i must admit that it is a morbid fascination i've had an xbox forever but it's more yeah. than that it is the fact that to be honest it is wild that one year ago xbox fanboys were claiming that xbox won when the activision blizzard deal got closed and so J just admit it bro it's just funny to talk about xbox you, you get that serotonin kicking in you get that dopamine you get them endorphins flying through right whenever you talk bad about the xbox situation let's be real right Gamers, we need something, dog. We need something. When there's no games, we need the drama, though. You know, when there are no games, the drama sustain uh, everybody around. The drama brings all men from all walks of life together. That's basically where we at. Like the video if you agree. Now, theoretically, they could have had, like, an exclusive Call of Duty or something like that, or World of Warcraft going to Game Pass. I literally saw Xbox fanboys 
partying. I saw Xbox fanboys claiming that the console wars were over and that Sony was going to be permanently destroyed or that Nintendo would get bought next. Like, truly insane stuff. Now, most of these people definitely weren't serious, but there were Xbox YouTubers putting- What? No, oh, man, that's the homie Cold Eastwood. Oh, shit. Oh. On suits and stuff, too. These people definitely weren't serious, but there were Xbox YouTubers putting on suits and stuff yeah. to celebrate how Activision <gasps> Blizzard was the dawn of the age of Xbox. Damn. And now, here we are, not even a full year later, and the entire brand is essentially worthless. But let me actually take a look at the report, and I want to talk about the- Yo, Cold Eastwood was definitely uh, loving- uh, He was living his best life, bro. He was living his best life. Now the homie would be like, uh, well, I don't know, man. I don't know, bruh. More Xbox games are coming to PlayStation, it's claimed. We, uh, for, uh, we, we had this rumor, like, years ago, damn it, right? Like, we have been having this rumor for, like, how long? It's like the raw numbers, because honestly, the more you try and fathom the scale of this complete collapse, it, it truly boggles the mind. More Xbox games are coming to PlayStation, it's claimed. Now, this is a leak by Jez Corden. He is okay. obviously one of the most famous Xbox leakers. He has a great track record because he essentially has a bunch of sources that are willing to talk deep inside of Microsoft. And a lot of people are basically like, okay, that makes sense because at this point, like anything, just sell it. Now, if you're wondering why this is happening, why this is so suddenly just completely happening, now we're looking at this over on Insider. Uh, more Xbox games are coming to PlayStation, each claim. Yo, thank you for subscribing. I feel like that Phil Spencer just smelled blood, or in fact, he tasted blood, right? And, and oh, of course, like, uh, his tagline is, hey, gaming for everyone, gaming for everyone, gaming for everyone. Yeah, I, I guess, Bruh. but like, uh, I think he took that literally, and now he's gonna drop all the games. I wanna know, like, if you're an Xbox fan, do you care about the games going on uh, on PlayStation? One, if yes, two, if not. Uh, if you're a PlayStation fan, do you even care? Because I, I know a lot of fans, a lot of PS5 fans will be like, I wanna play the Starfield, I wanna, I wanna play the Starfield. Uh, a lot of all, uh, a lot of PlayStation fans would also say, bruh, I don't even care about Starfield, it's Starflop. So uh, yeah, there, there are two sides of the coin right now. Either you're like, you wanna play Starfield, or you're like, it's Starflop, bruh, and, and I'll want to play it so I, I don't know where you guys at gaming but it has the quotes from Jez Corden and it's interesting because it actually says that there is currently a special development team in the process of porting a bunch of Xbox games to PlayStation and it's called Crazy. Project <gasps> Latitude now apparently he won't go into this so you're saying that they have a special team dedicated to making Xbox games uh, work on the PlayStation but but they don't have any studios working on actual Xbox titles? They do, but but you know what I mean, right? Like, where are the games? Where are the games? Where are the games? When are we gonna get games here, Phil Spencer? Because you got me looking like this, bruh. Uh, gaming for everyone, gaming for everyone. Games are coming, games are coming. Phil always say that, but I always say that, but but like, where are the games? And still, he has not responded on the recent debacle with Xbox, right? They put Matt Booty uh, and uh, oh, what was uh, yeah Phil Spencer. Both of these suckers have haven't showed their booties online. They put Sarah Bond and, and she catching all the heat, bruh. Yeah, no Diddy, she catching all the heat, bro. Specific games, but he does say they're potentially the obvious games that you would likely expect. So people are essentially guessing that this is probably Halo, and it does seem like it's probably going to be something like Gears of War. Why those specifically? I think it is because currently Satya Nadella, the CEO, the head of Microsoft, it, it sounds like their biggest effort right now is to try and find a way to make Xbox profitable. Xbox has been bleeding money forever. You know, it's not really made to be a huge, gigantic money maker. The rest of Microsoft. Just just prints so many dollar bills that they're yeah. just trying to essentially slow the losses of that 70 billion dollar acquisition Crazy, so they're yeah. taking and, and apparently what we're hearing is that activision blizzard is the only company making them the, the moolah right now already like they it hasn't it hasn't been an, uh, a year right i believe it's gonna be a year in october since uh, the deal finally closed and went through right uh, and they won uh, 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 yeah, in front of FTC and the, the in, a, in a court, right? They were battling it. Sony was like, hey, I, I don't want to lose Call of Duty. I don't want to lose Call of Duty. And, and yeah, Phil Spencer was like, honey, I'm home. We're getting the Call of Duty right now. We're getting the Call of Duty for the Xbox gamers right now. And yeah, they won the deal. And right now we're figuring out that everything else is going down the toilet. But 
apparently Activision Blizzard that's making them uh, them the money. So this has been very lucrative for for them. But still, they haven't made. I mean, they haven't made a profit yet, right? Like they paid like what seventy billion dollars, and it's gonna take them a couple of years before they can uh, recoup all of that that money. It's gonna take some time, absolutely. How many years? I I, I don't know. Maybe five, maybe ten, maybe more than that. Because I, I believe every quarter uh, Activision generates a couple of billions of dollars. But you gotta also factor in the the cost for making all the games as well that also gotta be in the, at least a billion right they i i would like to believe they at least spend one billion dollars in terms of like marketing flying the youtubers out right uh the influencers marketing the game making the game and you guys gotta understand that it's not just call of duty it's like call of duty for mobile Bruh. for Bruh. for console warzone candy crush that your mama may or may not be playing right now uh and, and they also got like overwatch or i, I believe they killed overwatch so scratch that part scratch that part diablo and, and they got like other ips yeah activision plus B blizzard king as well right I, I don't think they're king anymore but okay go Stuff off that does have battle passes and seasons and microtransactions and they're porting those over first to get an instant boost of instant cash now i must admit because i do find a lot of this funny because literally just a month and a half ago phil spencer is saying hey we're gonna put four games on playstation 5 yeah. just to see how they work and uh, of course mbg would be there to like wash his hands we got the homie sony pony mbg <laughs> A lot of games fans, a lot of Xbox fanboys were saying, <laughs> okay, it's just four games, that's it, you're not getting anything else, and now, essentially, it sounds like we're probably going to get Starfield, we're probably going to get Gears of War, we're probably going to get Forza, we're going to get all the best Xbox games on PlayStation, and I think there's a reason for that. The Xbox Holy. brand, when it comes to true hardware, has imploded in a matter of months. Look at this, PlayStation 5 sold five Four times more than the Xbox in the last quarter. <gasps> this is crazy. Like, it is difficult to even truly encapsulate the fact that these are supposed oh to be God. the competitors. It is supposed to be Xbox versus PlayStation. Nah, this is honestly insane. Yeah, almost five times, right? Uh, and, and we're hearing it, it's not one million for Xbox, it's more like 900,000, almost one million. Let's round it up, right? So, uh, yeah, almost a million units, but PlayStation 5 did 4.5 million. Of course, PlayStation got, like, more brand affinity and more reach uh, because of their, their games and their previous track record. This time, I, I have to admit, even the PlayStation 5, uh, the PlayStation 5 era is extremely dry. I'm comparing that, of course, with the PS4 and PS3, right? I'm not comparing that with the Xbox. Uh, and the Xbox uh, uh, Series X era is also very dry in comparison to xbox one and the 360 era what was your favorite era in terms of whether you're an xbox fan or play on xbox or playstation right or pc gamer if you're a gamer like what was your favorite or in your opinion what was the best era if i have to just say one if i have to just pick one i have to say ps3 and xbox 360 era was hands down the best listen man i, I i'm just saying bro ps3 and the 360 era was hands down the best because we were getting games after games after games and the industry wasn't too greedy to the point uh, like nowadays it's like 240 dollars microtransaction in tarkov $80 uh, King Kong bundle in Call of Duty, $100 weapon skin, and, and all we, we've talked about this as well, right? Like, ho holy, holy crap. Like, this is Ubi Snows right now. $70, uh, $18 a month, subscriptions galore, microtransactions galore, uh, games not included. EA games, but games are not included. EA also talking about, yeah, I did not cover, or maybe perhaps I just mentioned it in a video here and there, but EA is also exploring new routes uh, of putting ads in the games. Bruh. Yeah apparently that's happening so you uh, just think about it for a second right i don't think you understand here maybe you do but generally and majority is not understanding i'm, I'm assuming that i think i'm not wrong in this one guys but uh, here's the thing though so these suckers gonna sell the game for 70 dollars and then when you buy the game you have to watch ads it's like imagine you are one of those rare people to buy a ufc event to watch on pay-per-view or you know you, you buy i mean how many people actually buy to watch very few right a lot of people do but like in comparison to people that watch it for free very few right so could you imagine you buy a pay-per-view and there are ads in it <laughs> Yeah, you paying for a pay-per-view, but then you also have to sit around and watch ads. Yeah, exactly my point. So these suckers are gonna do that. They're like, hey, we need to put ads.
Th this industry is one of the greediest, not even one of the, the, the greediest company on planet Earth, or not company, the industry as a whole is getting super greedy. The good games, the passionate uh, games coming from passionate devs are from AA. I'm sorry, but it's it's the truth. Indie devs and AA games are the, the, the ones that are good. AAA games, a tri AAA game, pfft. They don't care, man. Like, publishers don't care. They want to just uh, dick you down. That's that's where we at right now. PlayStation. No the fact that PlayStation no is selling five times more, and this is a lower sales year for PlayStation 5. They sold 20.8 million. They were trying to sell 21 million. So the fact that they managed to sell so many millions of consoles and they were still under, under prediction, and yet still five times higher than Xbox, at this point, Whatever the quarterly goals of Microsoft are, they got to be in the absolute toilet. In fact, I decided to look at this on Reddit, and a lot of people are just saying, yeah, this is why Holy. Microsoft has decided to go multi-platform. Yeah, because yeah, if yeah. nobody's going to buy your console, they cannot... Yeah, like, the thing about it this way, right? Like, if they only keep their games on Xbox and PC, they're, they're not going to see the return on their investment. And already, like, Square Enix as well, they're pulling out from PlayStation, even though PlayStation is selling like crazy. But they're saying they're not making enough money by selling Final Fantasy only on PS5. So, therefore, they're going to pull out and they're going to uh, uh, put their games on Xbox and PC, which, generally speaking, for gamers from all walks of life, no Diddy, no Sony Pony, no Xbox Andy, and no Diddy, of course. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for all the gamers, of course, right? Exclusivity sucks for the gamers but objectively exclusive games are the ones that actually sells consoles and we're seeing it in happen happen in real time uh, I'll, I'll be the first to say yeah exclusive games uh, no exclusive games is good for all of us right because that would absolutely make it so you get uh, you you can decide what console you want to buy uh, and you can go for any console you want because uh, if you know that all the games are going to be on all the platforms then you can be free in terms of uh, uh, buying a console of your choice you can I mean, some people, they might not like PlayStation 5, but they're like, hey, it, it got your game show on issue, I'm just gonna buy PS5, right? So if somebody that don't necessarily wanna buy PS5 and they see the Spider-Man 2 is coming out on Xbox uh, and they love Xbox, they're just gonna go for Xbox, right? Even if Xbox objectively is bad, they're, they they just grew up with Xbox, they love the ecosystem, which is perfectly fine, they're gonna go with that, right? So in, all in all, no exclusivity is good, but objectively, exclusivity uh, and good exclusive games is the is what sells consoles and we're seeing it happen right now not even possibly buy your games gosh th this is just so wild 4.5 million to 900,000 they didn't Oof. even sell 1 million xboxes <laughs> last quarter like the xbox brand is just so oh, defeated no that I do genuinely think this is the kind of business failure that's going to be taught in financial classes. I mean, the fact that they spent so much money and are getting nothing back for it, when it comes to Nintendo, when it comes to Sony, when it comes to indie developers, a lot of times it's the cyclical nature of, okay, let's make a game, let's sell it, we get profit. We spend that profit to make even bigger games and sell even more copies of games. So there's this continual growth where naturally the best stuff is rewarding more good games. Mm. Whereas Xbox it always felt like they had this almost inverse philosophy where it's like, okay, let's try and spend the most money for the biggest game like Crackdown 3 or, you know, just yeah. whatever random project they decide to try and fund. And then if it doesn't succeed, they shut it down. I will never get over the fact that uh, Tango being closed, Arcane being closed. Like, why buy Bethesda if you can't afford to have Bethesda? Sorry, Crazy, I know I'm going back man. to old videos at that point, but it you is- Imagine, imagine one day they shut down Activision themselves. <laughs> Or not like Activision as a whole, but like let's uh yeah, who's the worst de Call of Duty developer in your opinion? This should be good. Bruh. I wanna know your thoughts on it. Do you think it's Sledgehammer My Balls? Do you think it's uh, Infinity Tar? Do you think it's Treyarch? Don't shade Treyarch right now! Don't shade Treyarch! If you if you shade that Treyarch is the worst developer for Call of Duty, I'm gonna find y'all sick as a okay. I'm joking, of course, but now in my opinion, Treyarch is by far the best. Remain to be seen, of course. If they turn uh not remain to be seen, what am I even saying? Uh, Trek is the best so far. I'll still say so far because they got Call of Duty 2024 Black Ops 6 coming out. If that turns out to be bad, I guess everybody's gonna say Trek is the worst. But right now, a lot of people, generally speaking, uh, saying that Infinity Tart is the worst, then it's like Sledgehammer My Balls, and, and the best is Treyarch right now, right? Uh, but, but like, could you imagine? Next time Infinity Tart makes a, makes a doozy, and Phil Spencer is like, uh, uh you know what? Let's shut them down too right now, man. Let, let me nuke it right now. Let me nuke them. Could you imagine? Like, holy shit, bro.
it's interesting to me that these initial experimental tests of putting Xbox games on PlayStation is immediately making them some of the most profit that Xbox has seen in many, many years. Currently, one of the top selling games on PS5 is Sea of Thieves. Even I bought it, to be honest with you. And I have seen a lot of people talking about the fact that it is interesting that a lot of these Xbox games are being reviewed better on the PlayStation 5. And I think it's because obviously the point here is the fact that this game has had years and years of updates and patches and tweaks and balancing to make it a better project than what originally yeah. launched back on the original Xbox One. So you are getting the perfectly polished product to now enjoy. And so because- Oh my God. So 85 on PlayStation, but it's 67 on Xbox? <laughs> oh my God, bro. What? What? This gotta be comedy, bro. Bit, I think we're going to keep seeing that. We're going to see the best version of Halo Infinite now come into the PlayStation 5. We're going to see the best version of Forza playable on the PlayStation 5. You're getting the best version of everything, not on its original console. If Yo, you've been uh, I gotta say, can a brother perhaps get Flight Simulator? <laughs> Listen, man, that's the only, uh, so far, that's the only Xbox game that I'm actually playing on PC, right? I think Forza is pretty good as well, not gonna lie. Halo, mm, nah, right? But Forza, by the looks of it, it's uh, it's it's amazing, okay? It's uh, it's uh, very good, it's very good. Uh, in before somebody says, no, excuse me, it's also the worst game ever, bro. It's also, last time I checked, everybody was loving Forza, all right? I'm just saying, but Flight Simulator, hand on top of this bottle of water, that's the only Xbox game that I play on PC. And I love it, guys. And I love it, man. So I want to see that on the Sony Pony 5, man. I want to see on the Sony Pony 5 because you're not going to believe it. Even though I got RTX 3090 and I I play Flight Simulator at 1080 60 FPS, guess what? It still lags. Yeah, I, I get the stutter. You're telling me on RTX 30... You're telling me that RTX 3090 cannot handle Flight Simulator? You think it's crazy? Th that's exactly what I'm talking about, but of course, in, in in terms of like flight simulator, I get it. It's like a very GPU intensive game. I understand that, but still, come on now, bro. Like 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM here, uh, Ryzen 7 3900X CPU, RTX uh, 3090. Bro, that's a NASA like computer. Now, some of you are gonna be like, uh, hold up, schedule. You don't have RTX 40 billion. I agree, but RTX 3090 is RTX 3090 here, dog. It should work. I'm not asking for 4K. I'm not asking for 240 FPS like the normal PC Master Race, like the everyday PC Master Race, like frame rate gotta be at least 120 FPS or 240 FPS. I just trying to play the game at 1080p 60 FPS, bro. Why do you lag? Why do you lag? I just wanna play at 60 FPS, bro. So and looking at any of the side-by-side -side comparisons, I've been making videos talking about it. Xbox games are actually running, playing, and selling better not on Xbox. And I think it's just the end of Microsoft. I think the idea of Microsoft even trying to play in the gaming industry, it's come to an end. And I do think in the long run, this is going to have some very disastrous consequences. Like a couple years ago, I made a video that at the uh -oh. time was just completely ignored, where I essentially said, Yeah, you guys really ignored the homie Dreamcast guy? Come on, man. <sighs> I was not expecting you guys to ignore the, the homie like that, bruh. The game pacification of games media is going to cause a total collapse. I yeah. essentially said that within the decade, trying to cram everything into subscription services is going to completely crush the industry. Game dev mm. pay is going to go mm. down, firings will go up, profitability will pretty much become the narrowest of margins. It'll become this sloppy slush of trying to make the cheapest games in the shortest amount of time so you can keep your game pass or Netflixification style system up to date and keep people happy but yeah. i never could have imagined i said that two years ago and in that video i predicted it would take 10 years to hit this point and it's weird to think that xbox is hitting it 24 months later i don't think xbox as a brand is going to exist in the current state even in yeah, 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 the brakes bro six months i think xbox six is months? going to completely go third party they're going to make playstation i think their next event which is happening on june the 9th right like the xbox uh uh mega reveal right with new games i think it's going to be interesting to see how phil spencer handles that but guys check out this video on the screen a lot of people are going on uh going off on xbox uh because apparently they they went ultra today 
So check out this video is going viral right now. Check this out. On the left, this video is about Black Ops 6 reveal as well. We got our very first t-shirt about Black Ops 6. Check out both of these videos, guys, and I'll see you right there.